YouTube so today I'm creating this makeup look um, I this is actually a collab with Lucy Flight here on YouTube um, <coughs> if I don't die first. she has created an autumn look but more of a, of a daytime look compared to my look which I would call it more of a nighttime look so yeah it's just got a berry lip with a, a smoky eye and lots of mascara so yes, if you want to um, see this look, please keep watching and please remember to go check Lucy's video out after mine because it is amazing. Her makeup look is just gorgeous. So yes, I hope you enjoy and if you want to see this look, keep on. Okay, so first I'm going to um, put foundation on. However, um, because I have a foundation routine up, I am going to quickly do this and skip through it so I'll leave my foundation link down below or my foundation routine link down below so you don't have to sit and watch this just to speed up the video a bit into the actual tutorial. Okay so that is the, my foundation and concealer and powder done and I'm going to stop there. I'm going to do the contour and stuff after. I just went for a really matte face the way that I always kind of do. I can't do dewy uh, skin because I have such oily skin. So for the eyes, I'm going to concentrate the whole look around the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I know I've already done one based on this, I've done a Get Ready based on this, but this is the, this is where I've used all the colours from. So. so first of all, I'm just going to start off with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm just going to put a wee bit on my finger and smooth it all over my eyelid. I personally like um, MAC Soft Ochre a lot more than MAC Painterly because this is more yellow undertone and I I don't know, I think it looks less chalky or something I think because the other one or Painterly has, it's like a grey kind of undertone. Um, I think it looks a wee bit chalky sometimes so um, I don't know, you can let me know what you think about that. Okay, so that's on my eyes. You can't really see it because it matches pretty well, which is what I like because it just evens out my um, skin tone on my eyelids because I have really, really um, beany eyelids. Okay, so the chocolate bar palette. I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush. This is just a wee cheap one off eBay, but it's really similar to my MAC 224. And I'm going to get this colour here and put it on my crease but I'm going to put it quite high up and don't worry blending will be done you'll be sick of telling me to, for you to blend at the end of this video so just going to apply that like that by the way what do you think of my lighting um i recently got lights to do filming with because my well my boyfriend bought me them because um obviously it's because it's coming into winter so it's going to get harder and harder to film so um i don't know why this one looks so much darker maybe because it is a wee bit um so yeah he bought me lighting and I don't know, I hope that they're better. I, I feel that they look better on the viewfinder, but this is going to be my first video up. So hopefully, let me know your verdict of what you think of my new lighting. Because if so, then I can film at night time, which will be good because then I can put way more videos up. Okay. Don't worry, it looks like a train wreck right now, but believe me, we'll fix it. Okay, so now I'm going to get a slightly more precision brush compared to the more fluffy brush and take this darker brown and I'm going to put it in the crease but lower down than the last one. And I'm going to bring it underneath the lash line. To really smoke it out. Okay. 
like that. You can see such a difference. Amazing. I'm going to get this blending brush again and just blend out or blend them together, sorry, the shadows. And these shadows are a dream to blend. They are literally so easy to blend. If you can see. For some reason this one, this eye looks darker than this one. I don't know if it's because of the lights or not. Maybe I have them set up wrong, but believe me, like they're, they are absolutely identical. So please excuse that. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish doing that. By the way, like I absolutely love doing collabs on YouTube. Like see making friends on YouTube is so good. Because me and Lucy have actually been texting quite a lot and stuff. And it's just, it's nice to know that something like YouTube can bring people together to be friends. So, okay, so that's it for the eyes at the minute. Then I am going to get this wee fluffy small, or Real Techniques brush. And get, there is a, it's like a purpley burgundy colour and I'm literally just going to get the tiniest wee bit in the tip of the brush and put it into the corner just to deepen it up with a wee bit of like a burgundy colour like that like that and then I'm going to get this lightest big block of colour there just with my finger and put it where the lightest part of the eyeshadow is, which is basically where there is no eyeshadow, just your eye, just to brighten it up a wee bit because I love, love, love the contrast. So, just applying that. Okay, and once again, just get your big fluffy blending brush and blend it all together. Blend, 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 no look can be blended enough. like that and then the very last part of this look I'm um, actually I'm going to use a, a shadow that's not in the palette if this is a wee um body shop quad and you can take each individual eyeshadow out into its own wee container with the lid I think they're really cute and I'm using this one this is from the quad um 21 and this color is pearly white so i'm just going to put a wee bit on a flat shader brush and put it under my brow bone just as a highlight because this color is absolutely stunning Can you just see that so i'm just going to put that under there and blend it together once again like how stunning is that highlight? I'm actually going to put a wee bit into the inner corners of my eye as well. Just to open up the eye a bit. Like that. So yeah, this is absolutely stunning. I'm going to move on to the eyebrows, but I'm just going to do these really quickly and speed through them because I have an eyebrow routine, so I'm going to link them down, to look, down below. Okay, so that's my eyebrows quickly filled in. Um, I'm now going to move on to the contour, and I love this part. Contour is always my favourite part of makeup because you can just change your face shape so much. So I am going to take my, if I can get it open my NARS Laguna bronzer and just this wee angle brush that I got from um, Barbara Daily Makeup and just put a wee bit on that suck my cheeks in and there's one cheek difference I have a really round face um, so contouring is like a necessity for me Hi guys, sorry this is literally like the most important part of the makeup look and of course I lost the footage for it. Basically all I done for my lips was use um, the lipstick Inhibition by Topshop 
along with um, a next liner in 804 and then when I'm out round the outside with concealer I'm so sorry guys I don't know where the footage is gone and I can't really do it again so I'm sorry but hopefully this is helpful enough so yeah sorry okay guys so i've put loads and loads of mascara on which i just then complete the look and unfortunately the bit where i put blusher on didn't record so i just put on my mac whole lot of love with my real techniques blusher brush just a wee bit just to give it some color to the cheeks um also if you have a favorite autumn slash winter mac blush please let me know because i really really want to get one so yeah this is the makeup look I really hope you like it. Um, I really think it's lovely for autumn and winter and the lip is just pretty and yeah. So this is the look. <laughs> so I'll zoom you a wee bit more so you can see the whole thing. But of course I'll have to put my glasses on because I'm blind. Okay so this is the look. So I really hope you like it and see the plus side of this lipstick, girls, it makes your teeth look so white, like, I love it, I love dark lipsticks and make sure you just put loads of mascara on and this look is sorted, this look, this lipstick even looks nice with winged eyeliner, mascara and this lipstick, like that she done. Um, but yes, please remember to go over to Lucy's channel. She's such a lovely girl and so down to earth. I love her videos. I love her Instagram. She's just so good. So please, please, please go over and subscribe to her channel and watch her video of this. She is also doing the uh, makeup look. Uh, can I speak? A makeup look um, featured like thinking about autumn, but hers is more of a daytime look. So yes, I hope you like and um, please, please, please thumbs up this video if you liked. Please subscribe and yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.